Chinese people of Biafra, IPOP, has dealt Nigerian government, saying the national anthem shall no longer be sung in schools located in southeast region. The group said this as part of its action plan for the year 2022. According to the group, slaughtering of cows raised by Fulani headers is also banned henceforth during festive season in the southeast region. All these were contained in a statement by the group signed by IPOP's head of directorate of state, Chike Etosem, and spokesman Emma Powerful, which was obtained by Sahara reporters on Monday. The DOS said IPOP would campaign for the unconditional release of its leader, Namdi Kano. A dozen said IPOP members should prepare for a worldwide protest with a focus on the British Nigerian Embassy, Kenya Embassy, and the United Nations. The statement reads The following are some of the programs and actions which the leadership will vigorously pursue in 2022. These are the ones we can make public for now. Others will be made known at the appropriate time. Worldwide campaign for the unconditional release of Onyendo Mazi Namde Kano, a prisoner of conscience. The campaign will be called the Prisoner of Conscience campaign. In furtherance of the campaign, all IPOB family members, Biafra friends, and friends of Biafra are hereby urged to change their profile pictures on social media with our official campaign poster. Secondly, all Biafra families worldwide are hereby directed to activate the earlier instruction passed down to them, which I embark on a worldwide protest in cities and capitals around the world. The focus of our protest shall be British embassies, the British parliamentary parliament, 10 Downing Joining Street, the Kenya embassies, the Zone Nigeria embassies, and the international organizations like the UN, the EU, the Amnesty International Media Houses. The group said a new department known as the Education Development would be established. IPOP said the department would be satellited with the responsibility of teaching Igbo history in primary and secondary schools. The statement added, the DOX will be creating a new department in IPOP to add to those already existing under the directorate of state. The department will be designated as IPOP Education Development. The primary responsibility is to teach our history, language, tradition, and culture to our children. We have about three books that will be published this year. This new year, in furtherance of this, after the head of this department is made public, Biafran rights will be called upon to bring forward books and educational materials to be published for our children in primary and secondary schools. Beginning from tonight, no more Nigerian national anthems in all schools in Biafra land. Our children must no longer be reminded a daily, rem reminded daily, I beg your pardon, that they are under oppression by singing the national anthem of the oppressor. School authorities and proprietors have a responsibility to teach our children our national anthem, the Biafra national anthem. The ban placed on Fulani cars will take effect in April 2022. Effective this month, Fulani cars will not be used for any social or ceremonial events and festivals in Biafra land. Our native cars will be used instead for their events. Traditional custodians of our culture, the clergy and the town unions must ensure that this message gets to the grassroots. 
we cannot continue to eat and bring curse and damnation upon our land and upon ourselves by consuming cows that we use for bestiality. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> Nigerians have reacted to this. How I wish IPOB is granted their deserve independ independent. But truth be told, the battle is bigger than IPOB. And as long as Niger data oil money is flowing into the Fulani control, Nigerian government pockets no one or organization can break the British company called Nigeria. The earlier we know this, the better for every one of us in the South. Okay. Determined race, the way IPOP is going, if Biafra is not given, they will do the unthinkable. Chai, it is God though that has been calming them down before now because he wants to establish Biafra at his time and not Biafra's time. Keeping Mazin Namdekano in prison means nothing to the restoration of Biafra. How I wish the Nigerian will understand that Biafra is God's project and not Biafra's project, he said. So guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much. Bye for now.